Assalamualaikum and very good evening to all of you. Welcome back to the class of BAA 2213, the reinforced concrete design. Today, we will start the new topic, which is the staircase design. Okay, at the end of this lesson, students should, should be able to, first is to identify the type of staircase and then to define and explain the loading arrangements and method of analysis. Students also must be able to define and calculate the load distributions of analysis of the staircase and also must be able to illustrate the shear force diagram and the bending moment diagram as well as do the typical uh, design of the staircase. Okay, uh, this is the outline for the for these topics, which is the first one is the introductions to the staircase, then the class classification of staircase before we go through to the staircase design and the detailing. So for these two parts, we will go through the uh, example from the module. Okay, so this is the staircase of life. Okay, which level have you reached today? Okay, this is the introduction to the staircase. Stairs are essential part of every building since they lead okay, from one floor to another and connect different levels. Okay, the staircase is very important. Uh, maybe usually we use a lift to go to the higher or lower level, but uh, during case of emergency, we need the, the staircase. The staircase consists of the flight. Okay, you must be okay, be familiar with these uh, terms. Flights of steps, usually with one or more intermediate landings. In okay, landings, steps, landings, provided between the the floor levels. The dimensions of the stair should give maximum comfort to the users, which depends on the use of uh, depends to the use of the buildings. Let's say. For the public buildings, the riser, okay, this is another term that you must be familiar for this staircase design. Riser should be less than uh, 150, uh, 88 millimeters. And for the private buildings, the riser should be, uh, can be uh, lower than 200 mm. Okay, this is the type of staircase. Either the spiral, the L stays, the helical, or the uh, slapless stays. Okay, this is uh, another type of uh, staircase you can read from the module. Okay, and this is another uh, features. Okay, showing the the different type of staircase. Okay, and this another one. Okay, this is important. Okay, uh, this is the part of the of the staircase. So this is the support. Okay, this, this one is the is the support usually by by the by the beam. Okay, we call it as a supporting beam. Okay, this support. Uh, okay, let's say so. Can you imagine? So this is the the position of of the beam. If you go to the building which have uh, more than one story you can you can observe this type of uh, construction i mean this type of uh, staircase you must have the 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 beam here okay as support and then this is the going going is here the terminology of going is from from here to here this is going and this is the the rise okay as i mentioned before in private building, the rise should be uh, pri in private. Uh, build uh, in in private, it can be less than uh, 200 mm. But in public building, it, usually it, the limit is lower, which is 180 mm. Okay. And this is the the waist. Okay, from from here. Uh, This one from here. Okay. Can you can you see it clearly from here to here? This is the, the waist. Okay. 
Then this is the part of staircase, okay, complete with the architectural finishings. Okay, and this is the step uh, to design the staircase. It should be designed similar, okay, similar with the step of uh, reinforced concrete slabs. Okay, the design considerations, first we must uh, determine the loadings and then determine the bending moment and the shear force and we must uh, uh, determine the effective spans of the staircase. And the procedures, okay, we understand the question and extract the data such as the loading, the dimensions, the material and so on. And then we de determine the average thickness which is the Y and T. And then we analysis the actions, okay, to get the shear force diagram and bending moment diagram. Then we determine the main reinforcement for every <laughs> one yeah. meter width. Okay, for every one meter width, just like the, the design of slab. Okay, and then we check for the shear, deflection and cracking, and where we must provide the detailing. Okay, yeah, and then we can, after, okay, after this, we will go through the example from, from the module. Okay, that's all for, for this uh, slide. Thank you very much for your participation. We will see you in the example. Okay, class, before we go to the example, so let's take a look uh, on the lessons from the module, okay? Just a simple brief, okay, a simple review. Okay, just like uh, I explained in the slide, so the, the important things that you must know is about the terminology, such as the riser, okay? It's not more than 150, 180 mm in uh, private building, okay, in, sorry, in, 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 pu in public building, the riser shall not more than one, 80 mm, whereas in the private building, it cannot be more than 200 mm. Okay, the length of going should not be less than 255 mm in public buildings, and it varies between 250 mm to 400 mm in the private buildings. Okay, and then the for comfort, the riser and going dimensions can be proportions according to the for to this uh, formula okay and then the, you must uh, know the the situations okay i, I mean the the term okay the, the the positions okay this is the flag we call it as flag and then this one is a landing the flag is the slope part of the slab and then the landing is the the horizontal part okay <laughs> And then, uh, okay, this is the main, main part. Okay, the thread or going. Okay, this is G is going. The, the thread means, okay, this is G. Okay, from here to here is going. And then the riser is the vertical. Okay. And then this one is we call a nosing. Okay, nosing. This one, okay, let's say this is the one step of staircase. So this is uh, from here to here, we call as, uh, okay, sorry, here to here, okay. We call as going, okay, the vertical difference is the riser and this one, we call the, this one is the, is the nosing. Okay, and this is the landing, and this one is the supporting beam. Okay, you must uh, understand this uh, terminology. This is the type of staircase. Okay, you can read from this module letter. And general considerations, as I, as I, as I mentioned before, the, the loading, you must consider, and then the bending moment and shear force, effective spans. Okay, the bending moment and the shear force, Okay, we can uh, states which are continuous. 
and constructed mon monolithically with their supporting slabs or beams can be designed for bending moment m equal to fl over 10 okay this is how to get the the value of bending moment you can use this uh, formula which is m equal to fl over 10 okay we will uh, look back uh, this one in the example letter okay and this is the effective span and then this is how to determine the average thickness of the slab okay this is the your y and then this is the 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 t okay and you can use this formula to determine the value of y and another formula to determine the the value of of t Okay, and then this is the design procedure. You okay? The we determine the design life exposure class and fire resistance in order to determine the value of C nominal, and then they determine the material strength and they select the wise H and the average thickness of staircase. We calculate okay minimum cover as I mentioned before. And then we estimate the actions on the staircase. We analyze the structure to obtain maximum bending moments and shear forces. And we design the flexural reinforcements for every one meter width. Okay, just like in, just like in the slab design. And then we check for the shear, we check for the deflection, we check for cracking before we can provide the, the detailing. Okay, and then this is uh, as for the detailing. Uh, a standard detail of staircase is shown in figure 3.4. The additional top reinforcement of the same diameter and distance, distance mean uh, spacing here, okay? Same diameter and spacing. As top support should be provided, okay? So we design, actually what we design is we design for, for this one, okay? This is what we design. What is the, this reinforcement? This is what we, what we design. So this one, okay, the blue color. Okay, we design for the blue color because the bending moment is will be here. Okay, this is the bending moment, support to support. This is the the maximum moment. So we we design based on the maximum moment. We design for the blue color, and then uh, we for the top support. Okay, the red color here. We provide the reinforcement of the same diameter, okay, the similar diameter as in the blue color and the similar similar diameter and similar spacing as in the blue color, okay, to ease the, the constructions. And uh, this one, uh, we can, we have to provide the, the, the green color here, let's say here, okay, the green color we have to provide what we call, in, in, in slab what we call, one okay the green color here what we call can you remember our last class brc 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 is the type the the the, the type of i mean uh fabricated fabricated uh reinforcement okay so this is we call uh okay this one okay this one i mean the transverse the this is the area Direction of they said this is the main reinforcement, the main bar, and this is this one. Okay, at 90 degrees, 90 degrees. So the, the green color is the secondary bar. Okay, secondary bar. Okay. Okay, and then this is the example 3.1. Uh I will uh, share in the next uh, video. So thank you very much for your for your attentions.